Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. My name's Stephen Pope. I'll be your host for the evening, and we will be playing Over Arms by Rookie Jet Studios, available now at Drive Through RPG. Uh, let's go ahead and meet our table, starting with CB, who makes a glorious return. I was just about to take a bite. Yeah, oh. in, right okay, in the middle. Of the audacity. A nerd. Pasta. So good. I have some Cajun jambalaya pasta the because the yes. goal. Right. Uh, hello. Hi. My name is Omega Jones, also known as Critic Bard, Critical Bard, or Critical Bard. Uh, I am uh, a hot mess, and I'm going to be playing Kalame Um your once absent, now present, uh, best friend, cool guy, uh, in a somewhat ish cool. Group, uh, whose divinity is Anansi, the West African trickster god of stories. I love it. Back to my pasta. Enjoy your pasta. Next up, they're the only person I trust to get in the robot, Aki. Good God, that's well, sure. I don't have a license, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, hi everybody. I'm Aki. I play a Manny Brown, the uh kind of mousy little nerdy kid and who's somehow becoming kind of a, 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 a power in their own right. I don't know. Um, their, their, uh, their divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. And listen, they are very cool. They've always been cool. Next up, she saw the school bad boy saving, saving a kitten with an umbrella. It was a whole thing. It was very moe. Mika. Eric. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. I'm Mika. I play uh, a resident theater kid who's getting a little more confident with herself and a little less. Um, God, what's the word? Can't think of it right now. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Dolly Wingrove, <laughs> whose divinity is Persephone, the goddess of the underworld and also vegetation, springtime. I also... I want to know what CB meant by kind of cool, kind of cool group. I think we're fully cool. That's just my opinion. Look, you can have your opinions about the world. Um, <laughs> you can go to Wikipedia and place those opinions on the on the page if you really want to. The uh, shade of it all. Got really Lost. dark in here all of a sudden. It really did. It really did. It seems like it's supposed to go down for three hours, but dang. And last but certainly not least, they are a high school student living with an adorable talking bear. It's Eric. His name is Coconut, and I've had him since the day I was born. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Eric, and I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, the former captain of football team quarterback, All-American in bro man uh who's currently just trying to figure stuff out uh he is the he's his divinity is ninkasi the sumerian goddess of beer and he, you know he's 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 figuring things out okay he doesn't know he doesn't have to he's 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 16 he doesn't have to know everything calm down it cool it cool we're all friends we're all friends <laughs> so Hey, for anyone listening to us as a podcast or catching this on YouTube or catching this as a VOD on Twitch, thank you so much. Do us a solid. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards. It helps the show and it helps the channel as a whole. But if you are watching live, you can help the channel out in real time. Your tips help unlock rewards ranging from giving our hottest takes in anime to brand new powers to all sorts of stuff. For $15, you can get a shout out in the form of the North Point Administrator, who is something special. Just something special. And for $20, I'll draw from the Deck of Heroes. Uh, we are heavily inspired by anime like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and the Persona video games. So Taro have a huge impact, and you can too. Also, before I forget, make sure to check out our Patreon and join the Saving Throw Show Exploration Society. It comes with many rewards like special pins, swags, merch discounts, and one-page adventures. Be part of the society. Join up today. And we want to give a special shout-out to our sponsors and friends over at Die Hard Dice. Use the code NATURAL20 at checkout at, for 10% uh, off your order, and you can get Critical Bard set of dice. Whoop whoop! I never can find it when you when you promo it. Shit! Fuck! Shit! Fuck! Keep on. 
<laughs> yes. Uh, so it's like double dipping when you're helping friends. It's it's really a nice win. And thanks to our wonderful chat, we've already started with rerolls. So we have five rerolls off the bat. Thank you nice. all very much for that. Thank you. Yes. So um, last week, you guys had a very, you had too many Nanakos. Okay, like one Nanako is fine, four Nanakos, too many Nanakos, all right? You got too many Nanakos running around. And Kwame was down with a cold, so we have one Nanako each. So, all I right. had to juggle with Nanakos, it was terrible. But you managed to find out what happened with her, where she was the victim of another white crow that had the power to split people into multiples. And Lenny got to talk to himself. That wasn't traumatic for the audience. And Manny got to see their serious side. I still don't think that that side of them is real. I'm 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 pretty sure that was a hallucination. Mm-hmm. Whatever you need to tell yourself. But while this was going on, Dahlia had a run-in with Miss Wang, the new mythology teacher here at North Point Academy. And Miss Wang, who also has her own divinity told Dahlia that she can help bring Orpheus back. But she needs something from Dr. Ash, who sounds like he doesn't want to give it up easily. And before your heist could begin, you had too many Nanako troubles, and you had a sick Kwame. But it's been several days. Kwame got his day quill. Nanako is back to one, and she found her own inner strength. It was lovely. We were all proud of her. And this episode begins with the four of you on a on the elevator heading up the North Point Academy clock tower towards uh, Dr. Ash's office. Dahlia, you found out that the spirit of Bastet has found a home inside a deck of cards somehow. And this is currently in possession of Dr. Ash. So you're heading to his office now. Uh, the rest of the school safety squad is with her. How are you all feeling about your first heist? I'm I still not, I'm still I, not entirely sure. I feel comfortable with the idea of stealing from our dean. Well, I know that it's for a good cause, but can't we just ask him for it? I mean, we've kicked his ass before. I, <clears throat> the spirit of Bastet, the Egyptian goddess, is in a deck of cards. Yeah, and that's where I draw the line because, uh, like Persephone, she gets a body to like through me. But a deck of cards? What is Bastet going to do in a deck of cards? I think we're doing Bastet a favor. Um, like not to be like a killjoy or whatever, but uh, I'm not like a hundo p sure that this is like the right direction. Like, like. Can we talk about like, like, like I don't know this teacher that well or whatever. And like, while while I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, about Doctor Ash's motivations, like all the time, I'm like, you know, I know like inherently he wants what's best for you know us and the world. Uh, and you know, I don't know this teacher. Like, I'm not even in that class yet. I mean, she didn't bust me for uh, the water park stuff. So I feel like she's kind of cool. You don't even know she re that she realized that you were drunk. Yeah, you're right. I probably paid, played it off really, really well. <laughs> well, um, let's let us ask, and uh, if he does not agree with um, how we decide to proceed, then we will. Um, we will we will deal with it then. Um, but I, I don't understand completely why we need the deck of cards. The, the, the Wang, Wang lady needs them. Why? Uh, to free Orpheus. To bring Orpheus back. Not free him. What will that do to Bastet, though? That is also my question. Because I am not in the... Um, I am not wanting to sacrifice or do harm to a... Um, specifically black um well, divinity I, I hadn't thought of it in that way i didn't know if i i didn't realize that she could sacrifice another god 
I don't know if that's what she's going to do. I'm just saying I do not put I do not want to put her in danger. Yes. For the sake of a rabbit. I yeah, it, it seems like we don't know why she needs it or like what she's gonna do with it. So like we're missing we like, important information. Should we like know those things? Yes. I have oh. a suggestion. Once we do have Bestet, we will then have all the cards. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like a joke. We'll have all the cards. We'll also have the cards, and then we get to decide where to put them. Uh huh. What is your suggestion, Manny? <laughs> well, at the very least, this is an opportunity to do a bit of investigation before we make a decision one way or the other. Yes. And I'm not sure yet whether or not we need to relocate the cards. But at the very least, we can figure out what they are and and what the what the consequences might be for relocating them. If it seems to any of us that it's at, uh, that Doctor Ash is also not, uh, I'm just saying this is our opportunity to get more information, and that's what we should focus on. With I that agree. Stated, oh, sorry, Corey. No, 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 I agree. So, um. We can continue on. However, um, Lenny, um, do me one favor, would you? Yeah. Never say a uh, hundo P again. <laughs> tight, tight, tight. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm going to teach you what African-American vernacular English is and why you, Mr. Privileged White Boy, should never use that. Fair. You know, honestly, it's fair. Uh, I often get uh, so enamored in like the use of different words uh, that I don't ask myself if I'm like uh, stealing anyone's cultural identity. Don't worry. 85% of the uh, the world doesn't uh, ask himself when they are stealing someone's identity. Just ask Christopher Columbus. Anywho, we're going oh. to keep going to... Christopher Columbus is, if there is a hell, he's in it. Oh, he's... Huh. No, we got... Hmm. <sighs> So Mom that dash is on your shoulder. No lies detected. <laughs> <laughs> the elevator doors open, and you find yourself at the top of the clock tower where uh, Dr. Ash keeps his office and his laboratory. Um, you have the beautiful view of the North Point uh, Academy campus from up here. You can see out from the high school to the elementary school, and you can even see the coastline from all the way up here. It is quite beautiful. Um, there is no one manning the front desk currently. And uh, the door because is... Because Manny is here. Cha-cha. And the front door of the office is wide open, so you guys could just walk in. That seems like, I don't know, kind of... Do they Suspicious. normally just, like, leave that door open? I don't think so. Huh. It's probably fine. Perhaps someone left or something. Yeah. Just went to, I don't know, get something from yeah. the vending machine. I, mm, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm being like a stick in the mud. But the idea that uh, Professor Ash would just like leave his the door to his office full of a bunch of ancient artifacts of unlimited power, just like straight up open. It, but if I'm the only one, like... Heckin okay, if you put whatever. it that way, I guess you might be correct. Um, it's a little bit suspicious. You're not wrong. I suggest we move forward cautiously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if anyone asks, we'll be like, oh, the door was hecka open. So that's why we, we totally went in there and not for any other purposes. Yeah. And if necessary, if someone sneaks up on us, we can handle it. I can be a lookout. Wait, that's probably I'm. Mm, mm, no. You are one of our strongest, Manny. I would prefer you not just be a lookout. Well, I appreciate that. I don't think any of us can really be a lookout. We all have very important things to contribute to this investigation. Anyways, shall we? Yes. Sneak, 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 sneak. sneak, 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 sneak. <laughs> All right, go ahead. We're, and give me a dexterity roll. This is roll very much this. This is very much the Scooby Gang sneaking around right now. <laughs> uh, go. I'm looking for a five. 
Oh gosh. You, okay. And you said, oh, that was defense. Uh, is my dexterity? Oh, my dexterity. Dexter. Nice. Okay, because I rolled a d6 and got a one, but my my dexterity is a d8. So okay. So well, so, I, I I rolled a d6 and also got a one because hey, that's what I actually have in dexterity. We're doing dexterity. Sorry. Like, and you said yes. it. You said we needed a two to pass, right? Uh, a five. I, I heard two, so I got a no. two. So, <laughs> oh boy, we are not a stealthy crew here today. Da, 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 I got a three. Da, da. Oh, all wow, you going all failed perfectly according to plan. Oh, we right. literally, yeah. what happened? Oh, Can I, I think we all like peek our head open cartoon style, but then all fall down. <laughs> yep, that happened. We, we way overcompensate for our sneakiness and just totally botch it. It, uh, oh, Kwame Kwame steps on like a a a um something on the ground whatever, but with his uh strength, it doesn't just like break. It's like to doom. Oops. Um, as the four of you sneak in, none of you seem to notice the uh bag of junk food in front of you, and you all stumble over it in comical ways. Uh, and suddenly we have a new Pantheon Academia sandwich uh, with Lenny on the bottom and Kwame Where on he the belongs. Bottom. Also, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> the boy is a bottom. <laughs> bottom, bottom. <laughs> uh, from the large mahogany desk, the chair spins around and sitting in it, uh, eating grocery store sushis, is Kim Winters. Oh, who wants to tell her? Hey, I don't think you're supposed to be here. Hey, hey could you? I don't could think you... you're supposed to be here either. Uh, Why grocery store sushi? Do, don't you love yourself? Clearly not. Which store? Uh, the. I don't know, the closest grocery store one. Uh, Crow Ralph's or something like that? Ralph's? Crublix? Crublix, yes. There you go, Crublix. Uh, Kwame rolls off of the group so they can actually get up. Um, What are you doing here? We are looking... I mean, we are here looking for Dr. Dr. Ash, and you are here, not him. uh, Yeah, so I came to visit him. And he had fallen asleep in his desk um, and looked like he'd been through hell. So I sent him home and I decided to watch the place for a bit. You, a student, sent him home. I mean, I'm lately his daughter now, so might as well play with it. Wait, what? What? Oh, yeah. So, um, fun thing about uh, being an orphan and then dying, uh, when you come back, you've got nowhere to go. So, Dr. Ash adopted me. Or is in the process of adopting me. Right now, we're in the middle of making up my very tragic backstory. I really wanted to be Canadian, but he said that was a bit much, and I can't do a Canadian accent. You don't have to do a Canadian accent to be Canadian. Yeah. Just yeah, like, that. like most actors are like literally Canadian. Freddie Prince Jr., Ryan Reynolds, Mike Myers. Like Mike Myers? Yeah, Canadian. No, he's British. No, he's Canadian. Have his you parents. Seen Austin Powers. His his parents are from like Scotland, so that's why he does such a good uh, British accent. But he was raised in Canada. Kwame stares at Manny for a second, and it's that knowing. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> the Anglo Saxonness that is coming out of these folks' mouth. <laughs> Just... I was going to say Simu uh, Simu Lu is Canadian. Um but oh, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Anyways, still, um I I'm glad that that's working itself out. Um and I guess it's good that you well, I mean it's not Yes, I'm glad you have somewhere to go. Uh, but I don't I don't get what's happening here. Why um, isn't the office just locked up? Yeah. Oh, well, we argued about him uh, you know, going home and actually going the fuck to sleep because uh apparently he's been dealing with all sorts of crows while we've been dealing with ours, so that's fun. Uh he's fighting them too? Yeah. Wait, but I mean, 
How do we know which ones he's fought? Like in the chessboard type, type of way. Chessboard? You know, there's, like, we're fighting like pawns and rooks and knights, and we haven't fought a bishop yet, which is concerning. Oh, that... Yeah. That, that makes sense. I like that. Okay. I mean, we cool. did tell you about this theory, but it seems that you have completely forgotten about it. No, she probably just wasn't listening. That makes sense. That's yeah. You know, oh, her. I was totally just thinking of that dancing Pikachu uh, thing that Nerd Boy showed me. Sorry, not allowed to call him that. I know. <sighs> Anywho, um, so if he is not here and you are here and you obviously are close to him in some way, shape, or form, we... Um, are looking for something that is said to have been here. Oh yeah, here. I, I I heck I got in trouble. I was like playing cards in class, and like the teacher was like Dr. Ash saw it, and he's like, "I'm confiscating these, but come back to the office today, and you can get them back." Uh, so if I could just like get those real quick, you know, you don't have to add at Hecka in front of a sentence like that. You could have just said, I got in trouble, but I heck I got in trouble. That that even, it doesn't roll off the tongue. Oh yeah, it, it's just like being like, oh, it's like putting putting like an emphasis on it or whatever. Yeah, okay. I, 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 um, Kwame, he talks, he talks silly. We all know, but uh, let's try this. Speech. Let's try this again real quick, Lenny. And this time, try not to feed me a line of bullshit because the idea of you getting in trouble is adorable. No, I get in trouble all the time. Like, um, is there like a coffee cup or something? Uh, she does have she does have an empty uh, Starbucks cup from I'm gonna, the. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grab it and fill it with with booze, but only like sip it and like see. I'm like drinking at school or whatever. I'm like a total bad boy. We we haven't yet started to consider staging an intervention, but this conversation is making me think that maybe we should. <laughs> See, as, as he drinks it, he's just like, yeah, oh, smooth. <laughs> I'm just going to like take the cup from Lenny's hand and pour it into like a, a, a plant or something. There is absolutely a plant you could pour it into. Yep. He seems relieved to not have to drink it anymore. <laughs> How about this? We are looking for a deck of cards. We need more information about what it does mm -hmm. because we've been told that it has a certain amount of power. We have very little to go on other than that. You see, Lenny, when you don't lie to me, I'm much more willing to help. Noted. Yeah. Noted. All right. Uh, she gets up from the desk, abandoning her sushi. Come on, it's over here. So it is here. She leads you over to the side of the office. Now, the office is very clearly divided into two halves. Uh, you have one half, which has books and cozy chairs, and it looks like it's set up for photo opportunities to make it look really smart. The other half is much more of an anthropo anthropology lab. Uh, there are relics, there are things behind glass cases, there are uh, tools to study these things. And she leads the four of you, uh, giving Lenny stink eye on occasion, uh, to a glass case filled with photos and strange bric-a-brac. All right, um, anyone got a hair clip or a uh, bobby pin? Oh, uh, yeah, here you go. Um, that's in my pocket somewhere. Here you go. Ah, thanks. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Love it. Um, Kim begins to uh, pick the lock. And how about you all give me an intelligence roll? We're looking for a three. Really mm. playing too much strong suits today. Eight. Oh yeah. Nine. Nine. Eight. Okay. One. Um, oh, Manny. Manny, you're kind of distracted by like you didn't know people actually did this, like picking locks, bobby pins. People do this. But she does. Uh, the rest of you notice, uh, however, there are a series of framed photos, about 10 of them, 
um, each one showing a couple teenagers, sometimes uh, three, sometimes seven, uh, varying in ages. Um, but behind them, you recognize divinity. As um, as she's picking the lock, uh, yeah, Kwame just scanning and notices that. Is he? Is Doctor Ashton ever all the pictures too? Uh, yes, he is. How old did the pictures look too? That's the question. Like, are they um, like going and like starting to get like black and white, or are they all in color? Like, is it like a? They're all pretty modern looking. Uh, the oldest one uh, looks like it's from about the year two thousand. Okay. Huh. So old. So he's been a mentor to folks with divinity for a quite a long time. Huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kim points up and there's a photo of her with um, a, a, a black girl who kind of mousy looking, honestly. Uh, a guy who looks like he, a white guy who looks like he needs a shower and a very proper looking man of Asian descent. Uh, until about here. Yeah, this was the last one. What happened to all of them? Well, I imagine... Like the fairly odd parents where we get older... No, I imagine, I imagine most of them graduated. I mean, that's Kim. So I'm guessing... Um, I don't know which one of these is Gemma. Uh, this stinky one is probably Kyle. Oh, you got his real name. Yeah. Uh, she points to the one who kind of looks like he needs a shower. That was Kyle. Um, he had Skaven. Uh, that one's Gian. Uh, don't be fooled. He cried all the time. Is that how that's pronounced? I I, I have it written down in my notes as John. <laughs> nope. And finally, uh, hey, Kwame, you and her are two uh, degrees apart. She says, pointing to the... Uh, uh, mousy black girl. That was Gemma. Uh, she had a Nazi too. I just look at my shoulder, expecting a Nazi to appear. What he holds up her? a little sign saying, "You never asked." <laughs> I need a shirt. I literally need a shirt of a Nazi with the sign, "You never asked." That is his damn thing. <laughs> That's his catchphrase at this point. <laughs> <laughs> So my okay, my question isn't if what they graduated. Obviously, what happened to them afterwards? Why are they no longer divinified or whatever the case may be? Oh, um, I died. I died, and they all, according to Doctor Ash, at least, they all wanted to call it a day, hang up the hat. Do you think that's what happens with the rest of them too? That they decide after they graduate that they don't want to continue being divine? I mean, maybe. I think some kids, you know, keep theirs. Oh, I mean, I want to like keep the, the Morgan as long as I can. Like that teacher? Is it, do I I'm a, do I recognize any of these photos of of teens that looks like a younger version of the that anthropology of teacher Professor Wang. 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 Yeah. Yes, uh, you actually do find uh, she is peak two thousand three fashion, which means pain. It's pain. pain. It's painful. <sighs> We're talking layers for no reason. Scarves that do nothing. And uh, low rise je bell bottom jeans. And an asymmetrical haircut that's been teased to the gods. But yeah, you find uh, Doc, you find uh, Miss Wang. And there we go. Uh, she pulls the lock out and slides the door open. Um, in front of the in front of the photos, you see three uh, pieces of just junk. You see a broken watch, um, half of a wooden mask that looks like it's been burnt, and what looks like a shark tooth that's been encased in resin, uh, with a sticky note on it saying "Do not touch." <clears throat> well, that seems specific. Like, yeah. 
Like it's obvious, but then like the fact that it's obvious makes me want to. Like it's a weird duality. Oh my god. If I wasn't in a good mood, I would totally be throwing that thing against the wall just to see what would happen. Kwame grabs it. Oh, you do? Why not? Okay, so as you grab it, uh, it begins to vibrate. Um, You feel a shock in your hand. Not like a painful one, but kind of like when you touch a rail uh, at the mall and you got static electricity on you. And in front of you appears what looks to be a translucent shark with uh, six legs. Uh, They're long, spindly, and come to points at the end. Uh, Its eyes are vestigial and kind of stick out like a snail. Oh, that's why he said not to touch it. Oh, that is... uh... Terrifying. Well, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but... uh... I never said that he was ugly, just terrifying. I have eight eyes. I would like to say it is ugly. I don't know. You don't get to talk. You don't tell me anything. You never ask. Is it like is it just like a like a spectral like thing? Is it like No, is it... it's tangible and it's very angry. Uh so roll initiative. I'll say that. Okay. Speed up. Speed index. Speed index. You know, I didn't plan for this one. I really thought the do not touch thing would Listen, you know, work. You knew you exactly what you can't ever tell us yeah. to not touch something. Yeah. It's, the you big red button. You know, as a as a GM, if you say, you see this, we're going to interact with it. It's like, hey, here's a cake. Don't touch it when I leave. I'm going <laughs> to touch it. I'm not just going to touch it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat, eat it. it. All right. So what's everyone's initiative? Nine. Three. Oh my God. Seven. Dahlia uh, at a three. Manny at a nine. Uh, CB, was that you at the seven? At the no, seven? I have a seven. Lenny with a seven. Twelve. <laughs> nice. Nice. Like, breathe, y'all. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kwame with a 12. Uh, Kwame, you have the first action. Hi, my name is Kuwame Akanyimi. Uh, pleased to meet you. Uh, I take it you want to be friends with me, yeah? And he like winks. No. Oh. Well, shit. Um, Nancy, do me a favor. Whip him up for me, please. Um, and I'm going to attempt to just can uh, restrain him. Um, Go ahead and give me a uh, give me that roll. I believe we decided that was a ranged and uh, power. Range power sounds good yeah. for me. Uh, <clears throat> uh, ooh, 18. 18, that is going to hit. Uh, all right, and you're just trying to uh, put a condition on it, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to restrain him so it's harder for him to like actually flail and hit us. <laughs> all right, that makes perfect sense. Uh, we will go ahead and give it a bound... Uh, you got a 19, correct? 18. 18. We'll give it a bound of nine. Cool. Right. Um, and after that happens, I guess, you know, I'm not sure to let you take that. You know, it's fine. I touched it. I understand it's my problem, but I'm going to, it's going to be my problem back here. Okay. Bye. He just goes to the back of the room. As you attempt to flee, it is now its turn. Uh, the uh, resin shark attacks and, oh, my Goodness, he got a 10 on the die. That is going to be a miss. So, Kwame, it tries to bite at you, and it has the strange chemical smell you get from burning plastic, uh, but it does miss. Ah, hey, hey, I just introduced myself to you. Say hi first. (sighs) All right. uh, Next up is Manny. I mean, yes, Manny. Manny is going to um <laughs> this thing has attacked their friend and seems to be quite irate. Um 
Ma'at, can you please show this wonderful being why it is that we're here? I feel like the two of you can communicate with each other much better than we can communicate with him. That's going to be a problem, Manny. Why? It doesn't have the... I don't know how to put this. It's basically a beast. Oh. It's like a wild animal. If a divinity is put inside something that isn't capable of thought, it gets strange. Feral? That's a good word for it. Hmm. Do you know anything about what Bass, Bass, Bassett liked? Um, well, I mean, this is essentially your family. This isn't Bastet. Oh, that. Oh. This is. is this a, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, is this an audible conversation? Um, uh, yeah, I would say that they would be having this conversation so that people could hear it. I guess I know if they, when you communicate, we communicated with my eye, if it was like actual, like verbal or not. I was like, is it best that the cat? Wait in the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that knowledge, um, sword, chop. All right. You automatically get your sword. I'm not going to make you roll to have that, but go ahead and make your roll to hit. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's see. I can do math. I can do math. 15. 15 will hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. I can do math. I can do math. Seven. Hey, okay. uh, you swipe at this thing, but it, uh, it seems to be very sturdy. You leave a small scratch, though. So at the very least, you know you did hit it. Okay, okay, okay. The truth shall set you free. The truth seems to be uh, epic. Next up uh, is Kim. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, she's going to summon the Morrigan, and she is going to fire off some uh, feathers at this thing as razor blades which she is not what to do. And she goes wide and you hear the sound of clanking glass as they hit the window. Really need to work on my aim. Next up is uh, Lenny. All right, I'm gonna use telepathy to basically attack this thing's mind with magic. So I think we'll just do an, a regular old magician attack. So, uh, if you're using your telepathic powers, I am going to make it intelligence. Okay. Well, I was already using an int and rage. Oh, that's right. Magicians yeah. use intelligence. Uh, and I critted on both die. Uh, so, uh, oh, dang. so that would be 18 to hit. Well, hot dog. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. All right. Uh, 9, 10, 12. 14 damage. Okay, dang. Um, As I just, you see Lenny just like reaches into like, he like uh... Okay. Um, as you do that, it begins to crack and shatter and break. This thing is falling apart. It does not have the mental fortitude to stand up to an attack like this. Um, it is very, 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 very uh unsettling to look at a cracked uh, slug spider shark thing. Um, and Manny, I want you to go ahead and give me a charisma roll. Okay. Oh, gosh. One. Okay, yep. Uh, this thing is scary and uh, not looking great. Why do my dice hate me today? I don't know. But that leads us to Dahlia. Wow, it's me. Um, Like usual, I'm going to try to restrain the thing. Okay. Is but it already time, bound? It oh, is bound. It is already we bound? Can increase it. We can? Yes. Okay. What would I have to yeah. roll to increase it? 
Well, uh, we'll make it like your usual range attack. We'll go ahead and make it your uh, intelligence. We'll make it intelligence range. Okay. And I'm going to do that with kelp because it's a shark. I got a 19. Whew. Great. All right, uh, we are going to increase it to bound 18 from that. Get hacked. Damn, right. get hacked. Get hacked indeed. Uh, Kwame, it's your turn. Uh, Anansi on your shoulder looks to you. Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, that is uh, Palayaman. Uh-huh. I the totally... Great of sharks. Oh, hmm, that's not fun. Okay. Um, um, okay, well, cool, good to know. As long as it doesn't keep freaking hitting me, um, which you probably be able to do. Um, just painting the picture real quick Manny's next to it, um, Lenny's next to it. Uh, Manny is the closest to it, Lenny is second closest. Kim is between Lenny and Dahlia, and you, since you ran towards the back, are in the very, very back. Great, thank you. Uh, I say, hey, Manny, you are doing the best job ever. Uh, I believe in everything that you can do. Um, let me just, you know, uh, help you out a little bit. Anansi, good over there. Um, and I'm sending Anansi over to Manny's sword, and, like, Venom is going to seep onto it, and I'm trying to empower her sword um, yeah. to yeah. just do extra damage. Um, to the shark thing. Yeah, All their right. sword. Yep. Okay. Sorry, their sword. Sorry. Mm, yep. So uh, let's go ahead and let's make this um, power intelligence for you, Kwame. Sounds good to me. Uh... Wrong day. Okay. Oh. That's a 19. Oh, dang. Yeah, right. it, was, it was almost a crit. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, Manny, as long as you are using your sword for the rest of the session, I'm going to be very generous on this one, you are going to up your dice size for, uh, let's see, what as a guardian, I believe you hit with your uh, strength defense. Strength and power. Yes. Uh, your strength will be one die size higher as long as you are using your sword. Cool. Yes. Uh, what is your strength right now? D6? D4? It's a D8. D8. All right. Kurt, for the rest of the session, as long as you are using the sword, it's a D10. Cool. Cool. Yes. Cool. Thank you, like, Kwame. You can do it. You like Thank see you. them doing the, uh, the weird spider dance that the spiders do. <laughs> He's All staying right. the fuck away from that thing. <laughs> uh, Palayamon is up next. Uh, they are going to take a bite at Manny because they are the closest one. However, they roll under an 18, which is incredibly possible. Uh, they are go The bound effects will be kicking in. They got a 20. That's right, a crit. I'll... No, they did not. Yes, they did. Mott, where's Mott? Is that the truth? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use well, an AP I rolled, point. I rolled a seven on my defense. Good, good. We'll roll it. Uh, let's roll its attack real fast. Seven on my defense. All I'm right, uh, that is going to be twenty damage. Okay. Yeah. Sure. How's Manny looking? I have four HP. <laughs> Oof. Manny, you find yourself between the jaws of the shark. It is just like that one old person movie, except you can see outside this thing and it's all warped and weird because it's all translucent. And it is horrifying as you are chomped on uh it this spits is... you out and you go tumbling 
backwards into the back of one of the comfy leather chairs. It is now your turn. How? So rude. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go and try and, and take a, a, a swipe at it with my, my sword. <laughs> Don't forget your strength's a d10. Yeah. I can do math. I can How do math. How dare you pull that well? How dare you? Uh, I'm feeling my diehard dice. 15 to hit? Yeah. That'll hit. Cool. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, yeah. Ooh. Um, 13 damage. 13. Okay. Manny, uh, how do you kill it? Um... Let's see. I think what I do is I drive my sh my sword up the very mouth that bit me up through its brain. Just a nice, just oh. up through the back of the head. As a uh, as a resin shark, you can see it does not have a brain, but you stab it anyway, and it shatters and just crumbles into sharp pieces of plastic. Uh, and you have won the combat. And Manny's like that kid that's in that one video of them like on the beach, like the little toddler in the bathing suit is like, I, I'm gonna sleep here now, just, <laughs> just right here. I'm taking a um, nap. <laughs> I'm taking a nap right here. Uh, Kwame rushes uh, over too many. Uh, I, oh, shit, I am so sorry. I, hey, I. Why are I, you apologizing? It's not your fault the shark bit me. It's quite literally my fault the shark bit you because I touched a thing that I was not supposed to touch and then it appeared and then boom. Ah, oh, good. I don't have to say it, Kim says. Uh, well, they you didn't know it was going to do that to us. You were curious. It's okay. Uh, Kim uh, holds your head, Manny, with one hand. Okay, uh, drink this. It does not taste good. It will help, I promise. Okay. And she proceeds to pour down some sort of weird lemon honey concoction down your throat. It's uh, not unpleasant, but it does heal you for uh, three. Eight. Oh, seven whole HP out of 24. Wonderful. Thank you. I feel slightly less like I need to take a nap, oh but I'm very God. tired. Oh, okay, all right. Can we get the deck of cards and get out of here now? Where is it at? Back in the uh, back in the uh, sliding glass locker that uh, Kim cracked open with the photos and the bric-a-brac. Uh, you see it behind. You see it uh, on a lower shelf next to what looks like a uh, music box that's been pried open. It's going to be really, really difficult to hide that we were here with these pieces of plastic. Like Manny's just lying on the ground, like surrounded by pieces of plastic. It's, it's going to be really difficult for us to hide the fact that we were here with it's all just, of the broken pieces of plastic all over the place. This is resin everywhere. There's a bunch of bird feathers. Just, Cut through a window. <laughs> There's Manny, kelp. Half of Manny's blood just on the floor. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty terrible. This, this is great. Well, let's um, grab the deck and then um, head back to, I guess, your room. Let you rest for a second because you look, um, you look amazing in spirit. I mean, the spirit is never dampened. That I can't let anybody do that, or it's like, what's the point? But my body feels like I've been torn into pieces. It's great. Yeah, because you literally have. Uh, Kwame, uh, Kim hits you on the shoulder and hands you a pair of what look like uh, gloves. You're not really sure what they're made out of, but they're white and kind of fuzzy. I think touching the thing woke it up. So let's try not to touch it. Eh. Um, I will put I put the glove on. So did I? So I guess I guess kind of chaotic in my brain, and that's okay. 
Did I touch the deck? Uh, you haven't touched the deck. You touched the uh, re- the shark tooth that was in the resin block with the do not touch sticky note. Gotcha. So yeah, I will I will put on the glove, and I will grab the deck. All right. Um, Did you know that there were like gloves already here? I didn't know he needed gloves to touch these things. We had a very strict do not free the giant shark monster thing. And for the record, I always thought he was joking about the giant shark thing. Okay. Uh, Yeah, but for the record, it doesn't mention a giant shark monster. It just says do not touch. And you're not going to... I'm sorry, you're hanging out with the guy who put it there. You're not going to eventually ask about the giant shark tooth and the do not touch sign? Come on. I'm only human. I think that we're... I think that there's no reason to continue to fight slash debate over this. Damage is done. Let's get out of here. Mostly to you. I'm going to be fine. I just need a nap. I'm going to um, give the other glove to Dahlia um, and then hand the deck of cards to you. Um and say, hey, we, uh, like um, the, the, the other spider that is not as cool as mine, with great power comes great responsibility. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to hold these very far away from me so nobody touch them. Great. I'm going to go over to Manny and uh, would you like to be carried back to your room? I am pretty strong now. I'm not going to say no to that. That sounds like a great idea. Shoop. My yeah. hero. <laughs> My hero. Uh, who's taller, Manny or Kwame? Manny is only 5'7 or 5'8. I'm taller. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're they're I, like I think very lanky. <laughs> Kwame is taller length. than Lenny, right? Or like I'm they're pretty the same sure. height. How tall is Lenny? Uh, 6'2. Six 6'3. Two. Uh, six <sighs> yes. Yeah. Um, as Dahlia the, is fine. Yeah. Uh, Dahlia, holding the cards in your hand, it kind of feels like you're holding an animal at arm's reach. It feels like it's moving a little bit, and it's warm to the touch, even through the glove. Not a unpleasant burning warmth, just kind of like a, oh, this is alive. Oh. Um, we should get like a little deck holder for these or something. But like a nice one in case in case Pistec can feel it. Yeah. I I gotta be honest, like I was not super enthused about the, the idea of like sealing these cards and like handing them over beforehand. And now that I know that like potentially all this stuff that was in there uh is super heckin' dangerous, um I'm like less enthused. Uh, Bastet is a goddess of protection. I don't think she, she would do anything wrong unless she's been corrupted, which I don't think would happen. Um, well, here's the thing. It's very possible that the amount of time she's spent inside those carts have made her not her best self. I'd be well, really angry. She is also the goddess of, like, Somewhat warfare as well, so I guess she could still um, be a problem. I guess still, I just, I don't think every divinity we run into um, will be a problem. Oh, I'm not worried about her. I think she'll talk to me. Yeah, probably. More than you than I, for sure. But we should get her somewhere safe. Yeah, let's head back to your room. I think you are quite literally a safe space for um, you and your your people. So, thanks. Uh, Kim raises her hand. Uh, am I allowed to tag along, or should I just pretend I didn't see any of this? Um, which one gets you into less trouble? I'm in deep shit, regardless. Well, Come with me, sounds more fun. Do what yeah. you want. I guess, yeah, dealer's choice then. Cool. Is it just going to be card references for the rest? Of, is that is that what we're doing? Oh heck! I didn't even think about that. That was that was smart. Yeah. I gotta think about card stuff. Oh, Please no. don't. 
It's just like, please don't. And, oh no! It's, like, it's that panel in the, that would in the be manga so cool, like, Lenny. No, it's that one panel in the comic, in the manga, where you just see all three of the other characters just have like completely. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. They're all just little chibi, like three line versions of themselves with the words "please no" behind them. Yeah. As they walk back, Lenny's just got a notebook, and he's just like, "River, flop, uh, full house, full house." Thank you. Um, um, bet. I guess that's a little shuffle, generic. shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Thank you. Shuffle. Shuffle's a great one. Cut the cards. Cut. Cut the you cards. should add this to your your prom king of court um, acceptance speech if you win. Oh. Everyone would love all the puns. You will be even more so the most popular guy in school. Joker, Joker. Joker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joker. Wouldn't it be off in the hole? I don't know. Kim looks up at you, Kwame, and goes, you know, I'm not attracted to men in any way, shape, or form, but I do have to say choice, <laughs> choice. <laughs> Yeah, he just continues to carry Manny back to their room. <laughs> yes. I, I think Manny does take like a very sh- like quick cat nap while they're being carried. They take advantage of the fact that they don't have to think about transportation because <laughs> you know walking is walking is effort. You know, is that what keeps Manny awake forty five percent of the time? Just like just oh, I have walk. to use stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. Jesus. I think I think Manny is the type of person who probably gets caught sleeping in class a lot. Not because they're like bored or anything, but because like thinking takes a lot of effort. It's tiring. Fair enough. True. Um, and as the four of you and Kim walk back towards the Galana dorms, we have a school wide announcement. <gasps> yes. Bum, 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 bum. Students of North Point Academy. Uh, it's another lovely day here. I've got some announcements for you. This one's from uh, Five Foot Latina. It says the maintenance department reminds students that burning po- burnt popcorn is a serious issue that affects us all. Please do not leave popcorn unattended in dorm microwaves. We do not want a repeat of the 1997 campus wide popcorn ban. Thank you for your cooperation. Seriously, if I don't get my kettle corn, I will lose it. That's all we got for announcements. Have a blessed day. No, no, not a blessed day. No, no. Blessed day. <laughs> we all know what that means. <laughs> Be blessed. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Thank you very much for that. And thank you, Eric. As you enter Manny's room, uh, we've had Aki. I've had you describe Manny's room before, right? It's just kind of like yeah, it's pretty standard issue. Yeah. Like they don't do a whole heck of a lot of decorating, not because they don't want to, but mostly because they don't really see a need to. It's like they're all the personality this room needs. I love them. I give you that. Um, as you enter, uh, the room is exactly how you left it. And uh, Kwame, what do you do? Um, I place Manny on their bed. Uh, huh? Huh? Oh, are we? Uh, you're are back, we sunshine. Oh, uh, bed feels very nice. I'm going to go back to sleep. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. We Manny, have to talk to this. Where can I put these? Um, I guess right here on the bed. <sighs> okay. She's like trembling as she sets them down. Oh. <sighs> Gosh, are you okay? I can feel them. It was a little terrifying. Like, what if, what if somehow the glove came unstitched and then I accidentally touched it with a little bit of my finger and then I? Can you give me the glove? Here you go. She's gonna take it off and give it to you. Okay. Uh, maybe you all should. This is going to sound really weird, and I already hate the words that are about to come out of my mouth, but maybe you all should, like, put, go into the closet and, like, just kind of, you know, keep the door ajar and so that you can watch, but just in case things get, like, really wild, you can close the door. I, I don't know. Just I want to What are you sure about that, to do? 
I'm gonna talk to Bastet, but it might have to actually talk to Bastet. So uh, I'm gonna start with the glove, and if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna get a bit more personal. Um, um I, I yeah? mean, if we're gonna talk to a, a god that's been trapped in a deck of cards, I think it's important that all of us are here because we want to stack the deck in our favor, you know? That was a good Okay, one. Lenny, back at the closet with you. Um, well, actually, uh, this is going to sound... I know that I um, I say lots of things that could be uh, perceived to be controversial uh, because folks don't like to uh, hear the reality of the world. Uh, but uh, in this case, I truly mean it. White folk, get to the back. Uh, okay. Understand. I mean, just the, if this, if an, if an Egyptian god has been stuck in a place for whoever knows how long, I don't think they will want to see anyone other than their own. At least at first. At least at first. All right. Lenny, I'll even step back a little bit. Lenny and I, I will go to the closet and think of more card puns. West yeah. Africa. Yeah, yeah. I've, Kim I've, will join you in the closet and try not to think of murder. I've been also, please I've been, try not to read into it too seriously. Yeah, no problem. I've been thinking about like like the whole thing about small blind, big blind, and poker, but I've, I worry oh, that that's going to come off as too ableist, even though that is oh. a term from the game. Poker face, uh, poker face. Poker face. Oh, that's, that's so good. good. Yeah, You're I'm all close. doing very well. Just Mid keep it down. Hey, Maybe murder you can... by angry cat god isn't so bad. <laughs> You can you can keep up the the puns. I believe in you and your ability. However, you can do it in your head officially. Oh yeah, and if I think of one, I can send it to you. But Lenny, I, can't. I thought Lenny Lenny's the one who's psychic. Lenny's um, psychic. I'm not psychic. I'm I I can read people's thoughts or whatever. Okay. As uh, Kim, Lenny, and Dahlia pile into the closet and close it behind it them. It should be really spacious. There's a light you can turn on. I have a few board games in there. <laughs> Ooh, Mancala. Um, Kwame and Manny, you both look at this deck of cards. Uh, what are you going to do? I actually right. step back as well. I'm not going to get too close. but Glove on. Ma'at. If you would, please keep me company. And we're just going to start with a gentle touch of the cards with the gloved hand. Uh, touching with the gloved hand doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, you have that same feeling of warmth. Uh, it is like touching an animal. Oh, I'm sorry. I wonder how long you've been stuck in there. I wonder what happened. Okay. Gloves off. Hey. You sure you want to do this? Nobody deserves to be a prisoner. Oh, I know. I just... And besides, if I can't talk to her, then... Well, I don't know. But I don't believe that she's beyond help. I don't technically think that the shark was beyond help either. We just weren't the right people to talk to him. Um, All right. Just um, be safe. I mean, I'm here. I, I, I can, as a matter of fact, I um, kind of push my hands together. And as I do, I summon the, um, the fangs of fists, the fist, the fist fang, fang fist. Um, and, but I just, I just hold them down. Not actually like in a, um, uh, offensive stance, anything. Just, just in case. <laughs> and uh, Manny also just thinks really, really hard in Lenny's direction. I'll call you if I need you. <laughs> Lenny like says out loud, "Okay." <laughs> um, and then yeah, they're going to uh, engage in some skinship here. All right. Um, as soon as you touch it, uh, Manny. I have good news and I have bad news. What do you want first? Uh, I guess we'll start with bad news. Okay. Uh, Manny, 
Your clothes suddenly feel much looser as, and how old are you, Manny? 17, 16? I am 16. Yeah, now you're 12. Oh. You now have de-aged trauma eight. Um, what just happened? Uh, the good news is you're completely healed. Um, why am I small again? And uh, suddenly... In front of you is the not just a deck of cards. The deck of cards seems to be gone. And instead you see a cat made entirely out of cards uh, licking its paw. Um, hi, Bestet. I'm, I'm Manny. Um, it's really nice to meet you. Um, uh, go ahead and give me a charisma roll. Um, okay. Uh, a nine. Okay. Um, the good news is it does not uh, crack the DH trauma. Uh, the bad news is it is a cat and it does not seem to care as it uh, walks around your... Uh, Bed before hopping onto your desk near you, Paulie. Very much a cat. What? what? Are you here? What? I'm here and very confused. Hello. Yes. Hi. Why are you a child? I don't know. I touched. I touched the deck of cards, and suddenly I'm like four years younger. I don't know. Mm -mm. And I'm also mm -hmm. shorter. I wasn't that tall to begin with. Oh. This sucks. I, I look it. at Bastet. Hi. Uh, they are a cat and they look up at you. Um. Oh. Yeah. Are you okay, Bastet? You were that deck of cards for a really long time. I'm sure you recognize your friend here, Ma'at. We're here to help you. Uh, go ahead and give me another charisma roll. I bring out Anansi as well. Is there any way I can assist? Like, hey, um, we are just, you don't seem yourself. We want to help. Uh, go ahead and I will let you assist. Um, now, Manny, you are, are you using Ma'at's power in any way or are you just trying to talk to it yourself? Um, I think that if I can somehow do a revelation of truth, uh, I, I'm willing to, to spend an AP. For that. Okay, I'll allow that. Um, in that case, Kwame, I want you to uh, also spend an AP, and we will give it a plus one to Aki's roll. That's not there. Can be up. Uh, another nine. Okay. Um, the cat looks away from Kwame to you, Manny, and his tail kind of flicks in that way that says. You have my attention. Uh, Maat uh, attempts to take on their tangible form, the uh, many-winged-eyed gold aura, and the cat just hisses and uh, dives off the desk. Oh, oh, that's not good. Bastet, we, are, we don't want to hurt you. We, will... we see that you've been in this this form for a really long time. Um, we just want to kind of help figure out how we just want to figure out how we can help you best. Um, we freed you because, well, we have questions. Um, yeah, I know. One of, one of the cats of the house is meowing. I wasn't sure if you could hear that. It's a little <laughs> bit too perfect. <laughs> I'm like, I'm lucky Rump, Rump wasn't here right now. <laughs> no, it's, I think it's, I think it's a, uh, um, Hecate, actually, who's meowing right now. So, uh, Bastet uh, claws desperately at your door, Manny. Where are you trying to go? Um, Manny is right. going to stand up and move over to the door. The uniform is now too big for them. Everything's just too big. Um, where, where, where do you want to go? You got to take us somewhere? Wow. Oh, you're a cat. Um, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're a child. You will get put in daycare. Um, I'm not I, that young. You're 12. You're pretty young. I'm, oh, I'm not, I don't know how old you are. You're, you're young. You're, you're, you're definitely not 16 anymore. I don't know why. It's 
It's weird. This is I look weird. at I look at Anansi. Um, hey, you've been around obviously for a long time. What would it make an, a divinity just forget who they are like this? Uh, divinity needs humans. We don't need you, but we we're not much without you. We're more ideas and desires and uh, cultures. Without humans, we don't really have much going on upstairs. He watches as the cat begins to bat at uh, whatever man he has hanging off their bed. You mean that she's lost her power as a divinity because there's no one who believes in her? No, 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 no. It's nothing that drastic. She still definitely has powers. That is why you are currently uh, tween age. That is what, yes? I hate it. Uh, I'm not loving it either. It's very, very uncomfortable. But uh, it's more like... Uh, hmm... How do I put this? Loaded gun pointing randomly. It doesn't really know what it's doing. It's not necessarily evil. It's just kind of powerful and a cat. Sorry, um, give me just a moment. <laughs> well, well, no, to, be, to be safe, um, um, do me a solid spin a web in which food will be sated. Well, at least, uh, spin, spin me a story in, in which um, food shall say to the soul, I am trying to summon some food for Bastet. And specifically, I'm going to um, summon a mixture of, like, kibbles and bits, and also, like, some minced lamb. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it a little more Mediterranean for Bastet. Okay, um, uh, I'm not going to require a roll for you, but that will be an AP point. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't have that on hand. Um... So Kwame uh, spends an AP point, and you have made the cat a meal. Yep, and I like, I like laying down. Hey, here's some food. Don't don't go anywhere. It looks at it and then walks away. I made you. I spent power for you. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it begins to claw at you. Uh, Bastet begins to claw at your uh, closet, Manny. All right, all right. You might as well come out, y'all. I think Bastet is interested in who's in the closet. And don't be alarmed. I did not kidnap a child. It's me. It's me. I'm the child. Hi! Ah, oh, snap. We didn't think of a pun for this. Yeah. And what could you possibly come up with as a pun for this? Uh, give me a minute. Yeah, no. give, give us a second. We're going to close the yeah. closet door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's like um, they're younger now. They're small. Yeah, smaller, yeah. smaller. Uh, Dolly, Dahlia and Lenny, I want both of you to give me a dexterity roll. <laughs> See whether or not the cat comes in there with you. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> One. Hold on, hold on. Um, what's my dex? Ten. Okay. Two. <laughs> oh boy. Every time. Neither of you notice that when you open the door, the cat came in until you hear the scratching noises of it wanting to go back out. Uh, and so, do you guys want the bad news or the good news first? Good news. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good news, uh, you are completely healed if you had any damage. The bad news is uh, Kim is now 12. Oh, I touched the no. Cat. This is bullshit. Oh, Language. my gosh. Wait, if, if we get two more people to touch the cat, then we'll have a full set. Full set of what? Oh, my God. Is that my voice? Oh, my yeah. God. Sound I sound like a squirrel. Different. Hey, you don't sound that different. Okay, you know what? I don't need that from you. Uh, the closet door opens and Kim comes out and you can tell uh, Kim is naturally white haired. So that's fun. Uh, however, she, not everyone's cute at 12. 
Oh, Kim. Not a word. Not a word. You grow into it, though. I just said... Oh, that voice. <laughs> Poke nails on a chalkboard. Okay, well, we obviously have to figure out how we reverse this, and that means that we have to figure out how to help Bastet control her power. Um, Lenny and Dahlia, you are now cornered in the closet by Bastet. What are you going to do? Listen, if if you make us all little kids, all bets are off. It didn't work that time. Damn it. Didn't work that time. Yeah, I was going to like, I had this whole dramatic thing. The um, Joker's on you. Yeah. Doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't work that well. This is, this is a lot harder than I thought. How uh, do, I need dexterity rolls from both of you. <laughs> how, oh. do those, how do those geniuses at SNL do it every week? You'll have a oh. full house of kids. You know what I mean? Oh, that's. I, I got a four. I got a three. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Tommy. Yep. Are you are you ready to have a babysitter? How, how is Dolly's voice going to get higher? I don't I know. know. But, uh, I figured yeah. it out. <laughs> yes, you are all. You now all have trauma de-aged eight. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this means that I can be a Matilda. Finally. Oh. Nice. All right, I'm not doing this right now. I'm not. No, I will not. I I don't want kids anytime soon. And now I have four of them, plus a cat. Are you already having a midlife crisis? I'm already having a midlife crisis. It sounds like the the deck is stacked against you. Did I already stop use it? That one? I will go to go timeout. Go to timeout. Get back in the closet and, and close the door. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, you're not my dad. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. You're not my real dad. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, no. Poor Kwame. Yeah, the kind of got to that Kwame. Hey, do you have any games on your phone? Oh, my God. I hand Dolly on my phone. Um, oh, cool. I, I, don't, I don't tell you the password, though. Um, hey, it says it's locked for two weeks now. Do <laughs> I keep going? I'm, I'm, I really want to just, like, web sling my phone back. Like no, <laughs> no. I like snatch my phone back. You're done. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. 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 Do you need a painkiller, Kwame? I, 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 I. What I need first. I'm sorry, Bastet. Spider spins the story in which the cage bird is not free. I'm going to create a cage around Bastet so they don't get away and don't not touch anyone. Not a bad idea. Um, okay, so I need you to go ahead and roll me range intelligence. Yep, and I'm going to spend an AP point. All right. Man. And this will be going up against uh, Bastus defense. So Range intelligence? Okay. Yes. I can't think of anything I would hate worse than to go back to being 12 years old. Yeah. I cannot. Will not. Can't make me. And yet you're making us. How dare you? It's funny. That is a 19. A 19 will definitely hit. Um, you can tell it. Bastet is ready to jump as soon as the cage appears, but uh, Anansi and you are just too fast, and it slams down on the cat. Uh, it begins meowling in frustration. Oh, probably should have done that sooner. And but I like least... take the... F oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I, I take the food that I created and I just dump it in the cage. Eat! Stay! Ah. Okay. All right, I, we are all 12, except for you. So we have to figure out what we're going to do next. Where does Dr. Ash when you need him? Um, uh, I have a feeling that Dr. Ash is not going to be super receptive to us asking for help after we stole something from him. Well, and left his office big old mess. First and foremost, um, you can't leave this room. Make me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are a little rabble rouser. <laughs> I gotta say, Dahlia, you're showing an unusual amount of like uh, 
like 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 grit and 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 determination that I think uh, does you a real service uh, that you should continue to use. Thanks, nerd. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm just kidding. Dahlia was a mean girl. Were you a mean girl, Dahlia? Yeah, we didn't have theater class where I came from. Huh. I had to take and it out on people. Out. Yeah. Well, um, I um, mm, I need. I go to grab my phone and I make a um a a note, but I can't because my phone's locked for next two weeks. Um. <laughs> You're gonna have to take it to the Apple Store or something. Yep. Uh, I'll deal with that later. Um, look, we have more than just a situation, little ones. Literally, you're little. We have a a divinity who doesn't know their divinity, and we don't know how to get them to re remember that they are divinity. We now have the four little horsemen, horse people, um, potentially ready to cause chaos. That I cannot handle right now. I I'm kind of at a loss. So um, oh, well, I mean, maybe we can like uh, I don't know, like let the chips fall where they may. <laughs> can I beat him up? Five, four, three, and a point to the closet. Two, okay. one. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Many. You might be a child, but you are still smart. What do you suggest? You, you, um, you're muted. Did, I think you, um, I think we're in over our heads with Bastet, which I mean, no big surprise. We didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into. Dr. Ash is probably going to be pretty upset that we stole from him. And I'm not entirely sure I trust Dr. Wings. Uh, motivations. I don't know that we can give a step back get to her, but at least we know Dr. Ash, and if we explain what happened, he's probably going to help us and not not be very angry at us. I, but he's gone, and I feel like Mrs. Wang is going to be the best option right now. Uh, I know. Dr. Ash has obviously taken on way too much and is probably should be left alone, but he's going to be real mad when he finds out that we didn't tell him about this. Yeah, I'm going to be grounded until I'm 17 again. Yeah, it, it sounds like Dr. Wang holds all the cards. I will hurt you! I'll help! Um, this is what I'm going to do. You four stay in this room. If I come back and you are gone, I will not hurt the child. But when you are older again, I will come for you. Okay. Uh -huh. We can Ooh. do that. Okay. I'm going to go find Mrs. Wang. And we're going to have a heart to heart about this situation because she is not telling us things. We haven't told her everything that has to change, or you all will be stuck repeating sixth grade again. No. Oh, God. Yeah, maybe. Exactly. But maybe this will just royal flush out of our systems. I will stab I'm hurting him. him. I'm hurting him. You know Nanny, what? You hold his arms. <laughs> I, he's usually just so. Uh, it's fine. It's Do I have fun. to go back to being 16? Well, yeah, because I feel like I have a great grasp on emotions that I didn't have when I was 12, and I could really, really get these parts, and I'd have more more time. Dahlia, if you try to sing with this voice, you're going to kill every dog in a tri-state area. Oh. Okay. That Dahlia? So I'm, Dahlia? I'm sorry. But think of all the parts that you won't be able to play because you're not the age you were anymore. All the parts that you've been dreaming of playing. All the parts that are waiting for you when you're even older. 
it'll take longer to get to them. But I'll get more experience on the way. I like you just the way you are when you oh. are who you're supposed to be. Oh, you're right. Also, this makes me really young. And it would take me longer to go on a date with Spiro at this point. Be really inappropriate. Really oh, inappropriate. Yeah. You'd go straight to jail. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Let's say jail. Kwame, as you leave the <laughs> NPA babies, they make the dreams come true. Uh, oh, I search for... Before I go, I like... Does, does many have keys that are visible at all? <laughs> Would they be in their pocket? Uh, on a desk hanging up somewhere. He is going to 1,000% attempt to lock them in the room. <laughs> Actually, no. The way he does is he looks down and sees uh, Delia's uh, um, um, uh, bobby pin and he, <laughs> he attempts to Jerry, like <laughs> lock the door from the back. Go ahead and give me a dexterity roll. <laughs> Uh, that's a six on the die. It's only a six. So. Nah, a, you're not going to be able to uh, unlock it. But we do have a school announcement. Oh, oh no. goodness. Here we go. <sighs> Good afternoon, children of North Point Academy. Another school announcement for you. Uh, this one comes from... Jimmy Buffett? Okay, it's not, is it the actual Jimmy Buffett? I love that man. I'm a total parrot head. All right, Jimmy Buffett says, let the youthening begin. I don't know that song from that. It's not the, I like the Margaritaville. And, okay, uh, that's all we got for announcements. You all have a, a wonderful rest of whatever. <laughs> And also, thanks to our wonderful chat and the work of James Buffett. Thank you very much. Sometimes I do get a case of the Mondays. Uh, we have unlocked anime hot takes. Oh, no, not this again. This is the, It's happening again. The, one, the thing that made any. Mika want to reach through the computer and just punch me. But I don't have any hot <laughs> takes. All right, all right. Um, hot take number one from Steven. The Sailor Moon spinoffs are sometimes better than the actual show was. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. The live action Sailor Moon was just as good as the anime. That is true. That is completely true. I love that show. So hard to find, though. It is really difficult to find. No. But it started the career of like careers of like a couple of a couple of people. Like that was kind of where they got started. Like uh, the the girl who played Sailor Mars is like one of the most popular actors in Japan now. So nice. Uh, I got one. Uh, there are way too many just normal ass generic white people that do dubs of anime. Like all all anime voice actors are just young looking white people and it's actually very upsetting there's like six of them and they do everything i'm not gonna say what i was just about to say um kind of wish you would no, we, don't I love, need, we don't need that blistering hot take today not today while i love death note i don't think it got a single thing right in terms of pacing uh character arcs um direction or anything um oh i think it could have been done better i like it i do like it i just think <laughs> it's mediocre if you look at all those things one at a time put them together they kind of make a good story fair enough fair enough <laughs> see me <laughs> did did we need three did we need three different versions of a full metal alchemist that's another good one. Uh, my hot take isn't about like anime TV, but more so about cosplay when it comes to anime. Um, 
white people can't denote what and who can cosplay most anime characters since most of them are not white. Thank you. Thank you. I also uh, think that if a show has fan service, it's because the plot is not uh, strong enough to carry the show. Mm-hmm. Also true. Most, yeah, most of those fan service ones would be better if they just went fully into hentai. They would just be better shows, probably. <laughs> well, that's what. That's what... <laughs> I do have to ask: Have you guys have seen the? Have you guys seen the? They're gonna be black today. TikTok. I was literally just thinking I about that. I love that one. Yeah, now that is a black. Yeah, now gonna be black today. She's going to be black today. But, yeah. Uh, thank you all very much, chat. Thank you all for your hot takes. And for the record, I don't believe we needed four versions of Full Metal Alchemist. Wait, four? Live action movie. Yeah, yeah, there's four. Yeah, just... Okay. All right, so... I, and it's one of my favorite, like, anime it's it's very really good. freaking good i just didn't just don't need four versions of it all right so kwame you make your way through the north point academy campus uh you manage to avoid critical bard who looks like they're on a rampage today uh they've teamed up with uh r.i.p mika and chidari aki and they all got baseball bats it's a whole thing yep i'm just going to let that go because i have bigger well smaller problems to attend to I just see Mika and Aki like doing that that thing from from the Warriors with the the Coke bottles. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. Um, and it takes you a moment, but you find yourself in the liberal arts building. Uh, you find Doc, you find Dr. Wang. Uh, she is talking to Mel Pomino, Mini Marker, and Draconix. Uh, about Draconix. Draconix. Hi, Draconix. Hi there. Thank you. Uh. She is talking to them about some deta details involving some anthropology homework, um, and she uh, cuts it. She cuts it off as she sees you enter the room and sends them on their way. They walk by you, and she uh, makes sure to close the door behind them. Kwame, lovely to see you. <laughs> Hi. Um... This is going to be very serious, very quick, um, Lee, because um, things have escalated or de-escalated um, quicker than we wanted them to. Um, forgive me, we actually haven't really talked since I met you at the water park. Um, Kwame Akinyemi, officially the oldest of the school safety club. Um, you have a divinity what, why, who, give me information. <laughs> well, I'm not used to someone just asking straight out, but I appreciate it. Well, uh, my divinity is Nabu. Uh, she snaps her fingers and behind her appears a uh, six armed man playing a sitar made entirely out of paper. Uh, he has no face, but instead a uh, pot of ink. Okay. Um, Babylonian god of writing and fate. Makes sense. Um, close enough. That's good. Um, and what is your purpose of returning to the school? Um, more importantly, what is your interest in... A certain deck of cards. Oh. I wasn't sure if Dahlia was uh, willing to do that or not. Well, I'm back on this campus because Dr. Ash asked me to come back. Why would he ask you to come back when he has folk here? Does he... No, no offense, not saying we can't use the help, but... None taken. He... I'm his protege. He told us everything. Ah. Uh. Okay, and back to the cards. What was your reason for getting them? Simple. She sits down. Ash always had a problem with relics. He didn't like to wake them up, as he puts it. When a relic is asleep, it's just an object. It has divine power, certainly, but it's more or less a comatose vessel. 
it doesn't feel anything and it doesn't experience anything. He thinks it's kinder to keep them like that. While I was studying over in uh, the Pacific Rim, I managed to find a way to possibly, well, repair them. Repair them how? Give them a sense of identity back. Is that something that you specifically can do with your divinity, or is that... Um... Nabu and I have uh, figured out how to do this together, yes. And giving them their identity back does what? Well, it makes them stop being a shark. Uh, well, you know, sharks, it may be as extinct now, maybe, or just not here. But, um, uh, long story, basically, you need to come with me. You need to come with me first. And first of all, she stands up. You need to tell me what happened to Payamon. Well, to be fair, he attacked me, um, and uh, I tried to speak to him, and he hurt Manny, and uh, Manny did what they had to do to get them to stop hurting them, and now they are uh, whatever divinities go. Very well. Uh, can you take me to that first, and then we will go deal with your friends? I assume they're uh, currently somewhere in the realm of ten. I am currently a parent of four. Ah, Mazel tov. No, no Mazel tov. I do not want this. She can't help but laugh at your misfortune as you find yourself eventually back in the office of Dr. Ash. Uh, she rustles through the pile of resin before she finds the shark tooth. Kwame, you have Anansi as your divinity, right? <sighs> he has me. Uh, I'm, yes. Good. We can both do this. And she holds the shark tooth out at arm's length. I step back. Mm -mm. He no. bit, He bites things. I don't do that. I'm not that type of kinky individual. You can stay over there. No biting. I want to show you how you can repair them yourself. Because I know you don't trust me, and perhaps if I do this, you will. To be fair, it's not that I don't trust you, I just don't know you, and Dr. Ash hides things. So it's just a little bit of a, um, I learned about you, you learned about us, type of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'll reach out to tentatively touch. I grab, like, a napkin. And then I touch the um, the shark tooth. All right. She instructs you to close your eyes. And she asks you to envision what a god of sharks would look like. Nope. Don't like that. No. Mm -mm. Have you ever seen Jaws? This is bad. Work with it. It's fine. It's not going to hurt you, Kwame. It's going to hurt me. All right, and I need an intelligence. Actually, no, I need a charisma and power roll from you with cost of an AP point. Okay. Uh, 17. Oh, goodness. Um, Those are my two best stats. Yeah, I know. I'm glad they were, you rolled high. <laughs> uh, Kwame, you feel the earth move beneath you. You now feel like you are standing in sand off the coast of a beautiful ocean. Um, the sky is pristine blue. There is no sign of civilization around you. And um, as soon as it arrives, it's gone. And you are back in the office. And instead of a shark tooth held between a woman and you, with a napkin, there is a key. Ah. It looks like it's been carved from a tooth. So they are alive again in, in with the key? They are now a key of divinity. They are awake. 
so to speak. And they have the ability to, well, speak and be spoken to and do whatever you need them to do. Okay. That's cool. That's nice. I can do that now, the bastard. Yes. <laughs> it didn't bite me. That's good. Um, okay. Um, well, then I need to go do that because I have four kids locked in a room and I don't know if one of them is dead by now because of pun-filled trauma or, or, or I don't know, self-deprecation from not getting roles or... Man, he's fine. <laughs> Sounds like you have your hands full. Once you get the key, come talk to me. I'll help your I'll help Dahlia with her Orpheus problem. Okay. Um thank you, Mrs. Wang. Um Miss. Hopefully Miss Miss Wang. Hopefully um I don't return to you also a child. Avoid it. I like stand there really awkwardly for a second for Kwame being awkward. It's not a thing. No, very no, awkward. Very new for him. <laughs> and then he rushes off back to the room. We cut back to the room. Uh, Lenny, go ahead and give me a strength roll. Ooh, I can do that. Um, one of these dice is strength. It's this you mean one. I'm not going to roll initiative against Lenny because I have a feeling he's kept up his punning nonsense and I must there fight him. Three. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, that does clock your trauma eight. So all your dice are one size smaller, and you are in a headlock from Kim. Stop making puns! I, I, I guess I you, think... you, you gotta know when to fold them. Ah! Okay, Kim, I think you need to let him go. He's not going to learn his lesson today, tomorrow, probably any other day. But, you know, it's fine. Everybody has to have a thing that they do and say. or Everybody has a thing. Anyways, um, yeah, please let him go. Please let my friend go. Please let Give him go. Give me a charisma roll, Manny. Oh, no. Okay. Hi, cha. A four. Yeah, that you're not being listened to. The trauma is clicked. All your dice are now one size smaller. No, I'm back to a D4 in intelligence. How could this happen to me? I'm gonna I make yeah. some mistakes. Lenny, as like the choke persists, turns into liquid and just slips away. <laughs> uh, Kwame, you come back just in time to see utter chaos. Children unsupervised. What's Dahlia doing? She's already trying to do some like Matilda step dancing, uh, singing at the top of her lungs nonsense that probably sounds more like a whistle than anything. Go ahead and give me a charisma minus three roll. Oh God, okay. She hadn't quite grown into her voice yet. Minus three, five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, no, it is. The cat is meowling and it's about on par. It's, Dahlia, you're realizing the voice is an instrument. And your years of practice are not there yet. Wow, okay. Yeah, I, I, I quite literally like, Bust through the door. Ah. Uh, hey! Hi, you're back. You're Can not you dead. Me? Good. No. Where's Where's Lenny? Uh, Kim has him in a chokehold. He's starting to turn blue. Uh, I did, but now he's turned to a puddle, and he's in the carpet, and he won't come out because he's a big weenie. <laughs> you just see I his his head sh he shows up. He goes, "Well, are you gonna are you gonna grab me again or what?" That's yeah. terrifying. <laughs> Hey, um, okay, I can fix this. I go over to the cage. Um, uh, I'll say, everyone back up, go away. Um, I, I look at Bastet. What are they doing? 
Uh, glaring at you. Hi. Did you eat? The, did they at least eat the food? Uh, no. Uh, I figured something out. You have to trust me. You don't trust me. You're a cat. Cat's I, the one. I look for the glove and I put the glove on and then I open the cage. Um, All right. As soon as you open it, I need you to give me a. Uh, uh, what's higher for you, strength or dexterity? Strength. Okay. I need you to give me a strength roll. Grab that cat. Grab that. Cat. Uh, that's an 11. Okay. Uh, you just barely managed to grab a hold of this cat. It is screaming, it is clawing at the air. It is not a happy camper. Hey, stop. Let me just wait. Um, it really uh, just wants to get away from you as far as possible. Oh, uh, what does Miss Wayne say? Uh, think happy thoughts. Um, only let your conscience be your guide. No, um, um, the the only way is I don't know. Huh. Mm. And I try to think of 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 change and rewriting the story and 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 attempting to um um help them and repair them. However, Miss Wang did. All right. Um, so I need the same role. Uh, and char charisma power. And I also need to know what you imagine Bastet to look like. Um, I imagine Bastet to look like a a a, a feline esque uh, woman um, with with dark skin, golden eyes, um, um, sharp nails that almost resemble claws. Um, um, wearing like a, 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 um, almost a gown like garb that's like made of black and like some, a little bit of starlight. She's, she's gorgeous as shit for damn sure. Um, that's, that's what I think. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, uh, go ahead. Uh, power charisma. Me, no. Uh, ooh, uh, okay. That is 16. That is just going to work. Um, and Kwame, you have a flash of this woman you've envisioned. Uh, she blows you a kiss and throws a playing card at you. And when you open your eyes, uh, the cat is gone. Instead, you have a key uh, with a poker chip at the end and uh, long cat-like claws at the uh, teeth. <sighs> and all of you are no longer children. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You you did it, Kwame. May I hug you? Uh, Is that a yes? Uh, that's fine. That's still not a yes. It, it's a yes. Okay. <laughs> Manny gives Kwame a hug. My throat hurts. You sound better. Mine hurt, yeah, you do. <clears throat> Mine too. And it's like <laughs> bruised. <laughs> yeah, sorry I almost murdered you. Except not really. Uh, okay, uh, I'll go ahead and ask. What did you do? Because it was great. That was very cool. Do you have any ibuprofen? I have an headache. I have some ibuprofen. Give me just a second. They they like root around in like the pep squad like emergency kit basically that they have to bring to everything. And they pull out like you know those little individual packets of ibuprofen. Here you go. Uh, Lenny, do the thing. Huh? Except with water, not with beer. Oh, yeah. That's I hand over a glass of water. Thanks. Oh God. Um I don't know what I did. Um I I I I spoke to Miss Wang and uh uh she uh her divinity is Nabu, um Babylonian god of like writing and stuff. Um apparently um the protege of Dr. Ash he told her, he asked her to come to help in some way, shape, or form. Um, 
but she could uh uh she knows how to repair like broken or or dormant divinities and awaken them um she did it to the the shock that bit that bit Manny. Um, it's it's now fine, and now uh, apparently, I guess because I'm story adjacent with the writing and stuff, um, I can do it too. So she taught me, and now I I don't really know how I did it, but it's done. That's so neat, though. It's a yeah. really cool power to have, Kwame. It gives me a really bad migraine, though. Oh. Yeah, but it's always oh. nice to find out that you've got another card up your sleeve. That was a great one, Linny. Thank you. I was holding on to that one for for like a really special occasion. Oh my gosh! You're lucky. I am too tired to punch you right now. I'm fully you want me aware. To punch him for you. Yes, actually. Cool. Wait. Yeah, Kim's just gonna wind up and uh, sock Lenny in the shoulder. Oh, uh, can I try and avoid it? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll your defense. All right. Uh, I will roll it. I rolled a three. Yeah, she got a seven. Uh, <laughs> she's in good shape, you realize. Damn. What's your regiment like? Like, is it like, you know, a lot of cardio or is it is it like it, do you incorporate weights or what? I'll take you to the rink. Uh, you'll get you'll get a kick out of it. Anyways, that that was that that could be really really important to restoring some of the old keys. We can figure out what their origins were. Yeah, um not that we want to tax you since that obviously is something that causes you a significant amount of discomfort. Um uh, yeah, I know how I would I I'll just keep um Advil or something on, on hand, it's I'll very, be fine. We'll just have to make sure you don't do it too often then, because too many painkillers is not good for you. But uh, now, uh, and I hand the key to Manny, what? now I think you can talk to her. Oh. Oh. That's so cool. Um, but uh, maybe later. We should we should uh See if we can't follow up on what the doctor offered to to Dahlia. Oh yes, she, uh, uh, Mrs. Miss Miss, not Mrs. Miss Wang, did say, um, Dahlia, see her. She will help with Orpheus. Oh wow. Um. Do, well, do we have to bring her Bastet, or is that we've we've solved that? No, I, I guess since I did it, it's not something she has to do now. Oh, do you know why she wanted Bastet? Uh, apparently, uh, Dr. Ash likes, thinks keeping them dormant is better for them. And Miss Wang believes otherwise. Because when they're dormant and they get awakened... We, you get nasty shock god who tries to kill you. Ah. Wow. Well, um, so we might get Orpheus back. Maybe. We can't get our hopes up. Can't put all, all of our cards in one hand. Right, Lenny? Yeah. That wouldn't Kwame really... Leaves. That wouldn't really <laughs> suit us. <laughs> Kwame yeah, just leaves. straight up out, leaves. Out of my room. Out now. <laughs> Be gone with you. I'm going to get some sleep because I, even though I feel much better. Oh man, that's been it's been a day. You guys should if work you need on me, your poker faces. If you need me, I'm going to the Apple store because my phone is stuck. Oh at... sorry, Kwame. You should be. I just wanted to play solitaire. As Kwame heads off and Kim heads home and Lenny and Dahlia are shooed out of Manny's room with a broom for the puns. Uh, the four of you go in your separate directions um, and Kim goes home to Dr. Ash's house. 
She opens the front door and is greeted with an argument between two very powerful divinity owners, much older than both of you, who have been at this game for a very long time. I don't know what you think you're doing, Miss Wang. But if you put any more of my students in jeopardy, I will kill you. And that is where we are going to wrap this episode of New Pantheon Academia. What? That escalated. Yeah. That, yeah. that escalated. But so that was Dr. Ash and Miss Wang. Yep. Yep. Dane. That 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 was an escalation right there. Talk about a full house of problems. Hey, what did you do? Oh, okay. okay. Hey, um, person, the man, man behind the curtain, can you just shut off Lenny's? I mean, Eric's camera, please. Thank you. I would love that. Do I have that power? Dom, can I have that power? I don't think I can have that power. Ah. Uh, Anyway, my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me on TikTok at Stephen Pope 101, where I give hot takes. You can actually see me without a hat. It's horrifying. Don't do it. Um, you can also find my work on Drive Through RPG. Currently, I am uh, going to be hawking Lost Entitlements Volume One for Changing the Lost Second Edition. It is some uh, amazing work done by me and my friend Chess. Uh, and we will be releasing Volume Two very shortly. So keep an eye open for that. Uh, so, CB, where can they find you? <laughs> at the Apple Store. At the uh, Apple Store. <laughs> uh, you can find me everywhere at Critical Bard, uh, including TikTok, where I get do random stuff. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm streaming it tonight. I might be. I probably am. Um, check out uh, myself and a couple of others as we play Among Us with Felicia Day and the Guild in about nice. an hour, actually. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. Uh, also, check out uh, myself and Aki on Let's Get Wild Mount on my channel Saturdays at 1:30 Pacific time. Also hosted by uh, Wizards D and D on their channel. Good, it's good time. Will be episode five. The uh, most current episode will be up on YouTube tomorrow. Um, what else do I do uh, um, next week as well? Um, you can check me uh, as well as Anthony Rapp, Serena Marie, Blue Del Barrio, Josh Lemon, and Andy Mientis um, for a Broadway Con panel on uh, tabletop gaming and being a theater theatrical artist, um, and many other things are happening um, with that. So just check my socials, all that jazz, uh, and uh, yeah, can't wait to see how Kwame is somewhat being manipulated by Mrs. Wang. It's cool. Uh, Aki, where can they find you? Hi, I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter at MixGenie in a Bottle. That's M M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. Uh, my entire Twitch schedule is over my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Hidari Aki. That's S H I D A R E A K I. Um, yeah, you can catch me tomorrow over on uh, D and D uh, ch uh, Twitch channel playing. Oh, actually, no, not yet. Uh, stuff is coming up. Oh man, ding ding alarm. <sighs> alarms. Uh, well, Aki deals with that. Uh, Eric, where can they find you? Well, they can find me mostly Eric on all the places, including Twitch, Twitter, and all that stuff where I stream probably sometimes. Uh, and then they can catch me back here Sunday. <laughs> all right, and Mika. Hi, uh, you can find me Monday to Friday on my Twitch channel at RIP Mika. On Saturdays, I play in Harry Potter RPG that benefits uh, trans lives and trans charities over fuck on turfs. Stories Told. Fuck turfs. Uh, we open every stream with fuck turfs. Fuck JKR. Um, <laughs> and then Sundays, I'm found here. Um, I also run a really great community. We have a whole lot of heart. We shine bright like diamonds. And we have so much fun, you might need to bring a spade to dig yourself out of it. Um, so come join the club. <laughs> You're so cute, Mika. I love it. You're the queen. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a good one. I cannot no. stand y'all. Why? I'm going because home. we're such jokers. Ah! Um, Special thanks to Dom. Dom, Dom so you turn off everything. Uh, Mika's the camera too. 
Thank you for Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes. Don't forget, Overarms is available at Drive Through RPG from Rookie Jet Studios. It's a wonderful game. We love it very much. Uh, we will see you next week. Uh, I believe we do have a new episode of All, uh, All Games No Masters this week? Not yet. Okay, we do not. Okay, ignore me. Uh, we do have, however, we do have Broken Pact, our Dungeons & Dragons game set in the land of Theros. Uh, make sure to check that out tomorrow. Until then, my name has been Stephen Pope. Thank you all very much for joining us here tonight. Until next time, bye. Bye.